Hey guys, Michael here. Got a new device here from Goal Zero. It's the Switch 8 Solar Recharging Kit. They say you can power your phone from the sun. Um, just got a quick little unboxing here, and then we're going to go for a little test ride. Um, essentially, I got this gear for when I go hiking and go out and about, and also for emergency situations. I thought, you know, it would be a good idea to have a battery backup and maybe an alternative way of charging it. Uh, I saw a few items out there. This one struck my eye and I thought I'd give it a shot. Let's take a look at the specs here and see what we've got. Alright, so essentially we've got here a lithium ion 18650 battery. Uh, weighs in at 0.2 pounds, which is not too shabby at all, especially if you're uh, weight conscious while you're doing some hiking and whatnot. The inputs and outputs are both standard USB. Uh, solar capacity is 7 volts at 3.5 watts. The outputs on the USB are at 5 volts, and for solar, it's 6 to 7.5 volts, up to 0.5 amps. Okay, so it looks like it's claiming three charges on an iPod, uh, two charges on a phone, uh, one of those e-readers, looks like you're going to get a full charge out of that, and a 25% boost on your tablets. Um, that's not too terribly impressive for me. But for the size, I think it's going to be okay. I would be mainly concerned with the phone for communications, and I would be at my tap uh, for my tablet. Um, additionally, I carry a battery backup as well, and uh, my intent would be to use this to help charge that as well. Um, basically, it's a the one it's the anchor. Um, looks just like this. It's a little bit smaller. But let's take a look at the inside here and see exactly what it's all about. See what the size is and how bulky this may or may not be. All right, here it is. It's got a funky odor. I'm not even kidding it. When I say funky, it's funky. Um, I'm going to leave the screen protector on for right now before we go out and test it. It looks like it's got a couple of uh, six paracord ties here. Here's the battery. I'm going to leave that off to one side. You can see um, it's got a little USB connection right there as well as on the other side right there as well. Um, there's your USB connector. This is going to plug right into here. This is going to then plug right into there. It'll charge you right up. And there you go. When you're, when you're not using it, you can carry it in a case just like this. When you're ready to use it, you set it right on the back of your pack, hold it up, gather up some sunlight, keep your devices charged. So that's it, guys, for the unboxing. Let's hop on over and do some field testing and see how this thing works out, shall we? All right, guys, well, it looks like the phone is nice and red, and it's ready for us to start our charging test. All I need to do is get the battery and the solar charger and see if we can set this puppy up. Give me a second. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. We take the battery right here, and on the back of the panel over here, there's a little cable. And this cable plugs into your USB port just like a normal connection. And essentially this is just an extension of a normal USB wire. Plug the male into the female right here and we're good to go. Alright, let's get these clear covers off the uh, solar panels here so we get plenty of sun in. I'm going to prop the phone up right here, hook the wires in, into the bottom. And uh, we're going to put this up in the window. And we're going to be starting off at 15% power. All right, let's do a quick check. 23%. Let's come back in a little while and see how we do. And it looks like we are still at 23%. Let's come back in a little bit. All right, guys, 23%, and it's been an hour and nine minutes since the last pulse check. Ridiculous. All right, what I've done here is went ahead and attached the solar panel directly to the window. I took the phone off altogether and just hooked the battery in. I'm going to let it sit here for the next couple of days. We'll check back in in a few days and see what happens. Guys, I really wanted this to work. Um, I've never been so frustrated with a bit of kit in my life. Uh, and that's really no exaggeration. Um, I had high, high, high hopes for this device. You know, the idea of using solar power to charge my phone while I'm out hiking or just out and about, you know, really did intrigue me. 
And I'm sure that you know there are devices out there that will perform better than this. And I know this is one of their older versions. I did some checking around on on uh, the internet to see if there were any other reviews on some of the newer ones. Um, I saw a lot of people reviewing the product as far as doing you know a tabletop review or a first impression type of review, um, talking about the device, but not a lot of testing of the device. Um, I'm sure that they're out there. I just couldn't find any. I did see a lot of reviews on Amazon, and you know, hey, go check it out yourself. There's you know there's a lot of different reviews out there. People talking about their phones frying, that it doesn't work on tablets like it's advertised. Uh, I gave this every possible chance that I could to work. I actually strapped this. I have two windows in my office that get perfect sun all day long. I'm talking optimal sunlight for hours at a time. I had this sitting for three days in those windows, moving them with the sun, morning on one side, late afternoon on the other. Optimal conditions. I could not get this thing past 25% charge. Um, now, as far as the battery is concerned, I will tell you that I took this out of frustration, jacked it into the wall, and it worked just like uh, one of the anchors or one of the other uh, external batteries that you get. So from that aspect, the battery's got the juice. The battery can take the charge, hold the charge, and deliver the charge extremely well. Where this product falls short is here, is this, uh, these panels. Now, when you look at the panels, they're not that huge, and that was my really my first concern. I was trying to understand, you know, what uh, what technology they were employing to be able to juice this battery just from walking around. Uh, some of the other ones we're talking about, they had three panels with them. I've seen some that had uh, slightly bigger panels, and those, I, I guess, work. I, I'm I'm really reluctant on spending more money to try something different. I, I'm just I've got a bad taste in my mouth with this with this product. Now one thing I found on the website, it comes with this charger right here. USB plugs into here and then plugs into the USB here. However, what they recommend for charging this is there's a guide 10 plug that goes here um, that they used to that they used for I guess a more powerful charging setup. Now I think that's a, a bait and switch that is unacceptable in 2014 it's just you know 2013 when i got this it, it's completely unacceptable i don't i don't i don't buy that don't don't send me garbage and tell me oh well if you really want it to work then you really should have got the cable that goes with it and then oh if you really want it to work you have there's a battery pack that goes with that too that really is supposed to charge it because at the end of the day they sent you a useless item now this battery is not useless. I'll get plenty of use out of that. Maybe one day I'll, I'll trust this company enough to try this plug. I don't trust them right now. I, I, I have zero tolerance and zero faith in goal zero. And you know what? That's a fitting name, I guess. I just realized my goal for them is zero. <laughs> and that's the name of their company. So I guess uh, I should have read the name a little bit closer. Anyway, guys, I wish I could give this a thumbs up. You know, I, I like to go out in the woods. I like to go hiking. I like to go camping. And I like to, you know, enjoy the solitude of being outdoors. But I also like the security of having my, you know, telephone with me at the very... Or, even my cat disagrees. I, I, like the sol I like the security of knowing that I've got my cell phone with me in case there's any kind of an emergency. I could call for help or somebody have an emergency at home, they could call me. Um, and this was really something I had high hopes for, being able to strap this on the backpack, let this sit in the charge, and let a trickle charge go. Three days is ridiculous. It's unacceptable, it's offensive, um, and, and I can't believe it. Now there is a glimmer of hope in all this. I, I can't say that it's the product completely, I can say that it's this product completely. But the bottom line is, how many how many times are you going to go back and rebuy the same product from someone when the first one you got didn't work? The glimmer of hope comes in the fact that a fellow YouTuber um, named Martin, he has a channel, and I will put a link to his channel down below. He's a fascinating individual. He has a great insight. Um, he's, he's extremely smart with electronics, and he's very keen on solar power. I talked to him about this and told him what my issues were that I was doing a review and I was going to you know share my impressions. Right now, if you haven't guessed, my impressions are right about here, zero. Um, 
nothing. I, I feel nothing. I, I'm beyond even angry right now, really, I guess you could say. In any event, I told him that uh, I would like to send this to him. Um, he is actually new to the States. He moved here a few months ago from South Africa, I believe it was. Um, and he has he's been doing YouTube video videos for quite a while a lot of electronics tutorials this is right up his alley with the solar power I told him to take a look at it I wanted to see where he thinks the failure may have occurred whether it was in my testing and I don't think that it was again there's it's pretty bulletproof you plug it in you plug it in you plug it in hang it off your backpack or wherever you want right in direct sunlight and charge it up you know um, kind of idiot proof I don't think these panels are going to be able to collect the juice strong enough, uh, collect the juice well enough to get this thing charged. It's not going to happen. I'm, um, I'm still sitting at, at just barely 50%. Now, the thing that aggravates me about this, about this light is that that second light's on, but it is not at 50%. So when you plug this in and try to charge it, you're going to see that second light blink. Now, that tells me I've charged up 25% and I'm approaching 50%. If this thing was 50% charged, the, the third light should be blinking while it's charging. And that is not and was not the case. So that frustrated me also. Uh, that also frustrated me um, it, it, during my test. Um, guys, I, I, I can't keep going with this review. I'm just really kind of aggravated. I was really, really excited about this device. I really wanted something that was going to work that I knew that I could take out. And at this particular point, the only use, if this product is going to work, I would have to be hiking in the Mojave Desert in the middle of July, back to the sun 24-7, and I better be walking for nine straight hours and not use my phone if I really hope to get it. Uh, this setup is a waste of money. Um, I know that they have newer ones out there, and if guys, if somebody out there has it and is using it, and is using it in multiple environments, not just the wide open plains of, of Nevada, you know, someplace that's got... Maybe not great sun 24-7. Maybe you've got you know bouts where you get some sun in the middle of the daytime, a little bit cloud cover, a little bit of uh, maybe woodland and tree covers. That's what I do. I, do. I spend most of my time in the woods, not in the desert. So if you've got a product like this and you've used one and you've had great success with it, let me know. Give me a con give me a um, shout out down below in the comments and tell me this is you know what you're using. Or if you've tried this product, tell me what your experience has been. I'm curious. Is it just me? Or uh, is it all their products? Anyway, guys, that's about it for me. I gotta end this. I'm I'm really aggravated with this. I was really hoping to report something good, and uh, I just feel like I threw my money away at this. I mean, it was it was just way too much to spend for nothing. I could get one of these batteries like the Anchor uh, that I purchased last year or a few months back, and for twenty five dollars. Instead, I spent almost a hundred bucks. What is it? Seventy-five, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was um, for this for this setup. Three times as much for a battery and a useless panel. So um, I can't recommend it. I you know I can't. Sorry about that, guys. I was hoping to give you some good news. So anyway, guys, I hope you got some use out of the video and uh, enjoyed the testing of this. I I, I gave it every fair shake I could. I'm not dissuading anybody from ever using Goal Zero. I'm saying that take my lesson and investigate further. If you feel after seeing some other reviews out there or some other comments that you want to go give it a shot, by all means go for it, but please let me know how it works out for you. Um, that's about all for me. You guys have a great day. 